Right, so here again. So one thing at a time, uh, steady as we go. Just gonna go through the uh, engine. I've got, I've got the bearings now. So, and they all seem to be pretty good. They right ones. These are the big ends. And they're the main um, bearings. And they all seem to correspond with what we've got there. Which is good a little bit more expensive than we was hoping but that yeah they're all there so it's all good um just gonna lift the engine up and uh, move it round just then give it a good wash down give it a good wash through uh yeah so go from there right nice um yeah we'll see how we get on right see you in a while so that's the glorious thing about this this stand is it actually rolls round it's obviously holding it at the heavier at the end so what i've done is i've um put this jack under the back end just to hold it a little bit steady just to just take the weight off of it um so basically the purpose of doing this is i can give it a good wash clean all the all the old oil, all the old oil out, and all the old dust out of it before we before we put it back together. Basically, that's the idea behind that. Uh, got some spray, so give it a good wash out and rinse, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. And then we can start rebuilding, putting bits back together. Obviously, don't want any dust in there or anything, or bits of crud, obviously causing problems. So there we go. Um, on to the next stage. <clears throat> there giving it a clean so just going to give the surfaces a once over with a bit of emery right there in places like that um, obviously still a little bit of oil coming out but when I turn it on its back to put the shaft in I've got to put the rope seal in there I'll turn it on its back to put the to put all the bearings in and everything um, yeah and obviously the oil will flow back, but got the worst bit out of it, the dirt out of it and everything. So, looking good. So, we'll carry on. Just keep doing little updates. I'll see you in a second. Just show you this as well. I've got my new makeshift bung. So obviously the old one, it's, it bust out. So what I did, I drilled out through the centre of the old bung. Because... You could, I couldn't get it out, it was stuck in there fast, it, you know, no amount of tapping or whatever would do it, it just kept on breaking off. So I drew the hole through the centre of it and tapped a thread through it, a 1.5, 16mm, uh, 1.5, so metric fine, um, which is it's not what it would have been originally, obviously it would have been some kind of imperial thread. Um, but yeah, so there you go, look, this is our new bung, what I'm going to do is, Cut the tip off of it and then square this off so that we can put a spanner on it and, and tighten it in. Obviously, we need a, a, a temperature gauge, but looking good, happy. It's, it makes me happy doing this, so yeah, good. It's all looking up. Yeah, happy. Just show you. I might have shown you before, but. bought this from Scotland actually to do the restoration on my last Model C, the one that actually caught fire. Um, I'll tell you what I've got to do. Before I go too mad, I just want to, basically I've just shown you that working, but I've forgot to do the, just the emery off those surfaces. So I'll do that next. There you go, I'll give it a second wash out because there was a little bit of dirt on the cylinders I could see. I put the, bear, the what's it bearings in, the bottom bearings in. Um, yeah. A little bit of trouble with this felt seal, this rope seal. Not quite sure what to do with that, but there you go. We'll see. I'm going to have to do what I can with it. Yeah. So, there you go, that's that, getting on with it bit by bit.
Yeah, I'm not quite quite 100% sure about that, about that rope seal, but yeah, I've got to do what I can, you just do the best I can with it, you know, and it's, I'm not satisfied with it, just had to go again. There you go. Right. See you in a minute. There you go, it's got me beat. Oh, I've just I've got to pack up now, I'm just tired with it. So, it's just one of them things. I just need a fresh, fresh look at it. The only thing that I'm struggling with really is the rope seal. There's a rope seal here. Um, and I'm struggling to get it to fit right. Um, it's just one of them things. I just need to cool down and get a fresh perspective on it. So I've got all day next Saturday. So I'll try and freshen my mind and just get on with it that way. I think that's the best way to do it rather than just struggling on now, wasting time. Yeah, it's just one of those things. I just, yeah, I've been up since five o'clock this morning. I had to uh, go and try and get this combine down, but that didn't work either. So it's, all, it's not going too well, to be honest. But oh well, it's just one of them things. There's, there's not a lot I can do about it. I wish, in a way, we hadn't stripped the engine down now, really, because it, it weren't that bad, really. So it just made a lot of work for ourselves. But there you go, never mind, it's done now. It's in bits now, so it's got to be done. So next Saturday, I'm going to come down here and try and blitz it. First thing is get that, that seal done. Once that seal's done, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be sorted. Right? The rest of it's easy. But that seal is a pain to get. It's got to be just right. And you've got to get it against the shaft. You've got to have it in the shaft in to see if it works right. So never mind. Uh, there you go, just have to chill out for a minute and just relax and uh, yeah, go from there. Yeah, I need to sort my head out a bit. <laughs> just my head's cooked with it. It's just a lot of work. Um, but there you go. Um, all deadlines, the, the combine is supposed to be working at the end of July and we've only got six weeks, I suppose six weeks should be enough. But there you go, never mind. It's all, it's all relative I suppose no, never mind anyway yeah I'll uh, catch up with you next time so see you later